Hey guys, this is Achinte Gomez. So in this video, I'm going to tell you five time tested hacks that you can follow to score 80% and above most of the techniques I have applied in my life. And I've also talked to those students who have consistently scoring 80% and above with very limited time by studying for very less time, like 15 days, 20 days, like how they are scoring. So I have uh, taken feedback from those students. And also let me give you a warning. Like these are not like hacks, like you can just follow them and score 80% and above. Like if you are following, if you are getting 72%, 75% and if you follow them then you can definitely increase your score by five percent seven percent eight percent and so on out of these five techniques fifth is such like i really regret that i got to know it very late in my life i wish i knew it earlier so that i could have scored much more marks so make sure you watch the video till the end so that you also don't regret and score the maximum possible marks in the least possible efforts okay so let's start the video uh, before you begin, I would like to make a humble request. Please like the video. You always do. This time we are taking a like target of as always 250 likes. You always help us reach a like target, uh, whatever we keep. So please like this video as well. Also subscribe to our channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. You will get update about all our video whenever we uploaded so for the first hack let me tell you a scenario so what happened in my exam one day i went to a hostel college hostel one day prior to exam what i saw three four students were studying so what was happening one student was teaching a topic to everybody else so he was teaching very well then when he completed then another student taught another topic then third student then four student and so on they completed the whole unit in within 30 to 40 minutes then they went back like everybody went to their rooms and they studied another unit and then third unit then fourth unit then fifth unit and so on what i saw within six to eight hours they completed the whole syllabus so i found this method of studying to be very effective so this is my first suggestion group study make a group of three to four studious students studious in double quotes so i'm not staying make a group of a not so serious student ki like you go make a group of three four students and you make a group of students who are not so serious and you end up doing only must in that time and not studying anything and wasting all your time and later blame me for that so don't do that make a group of studious student so what are studious students who have scoring type good mark like 72 percent 73 74 75 students who are scoring similar to your marks like your marks is 71 72 so you'll be friends with 73 or 70 percent students second step uh, is to divide your syllabus among them jiske jo bhi strength hai whoever has what strength like uh, somebody is strong in theory somebody is strong in numerical and you can prepare accordingly also if you don't have group right now then it's okay you can watch rest of the four techniques which are separate from this and you can make the group from next semester onwards okay then you prepare these topics that you have divided third step is to explain these topics to one another in a very lucid manner in a very simple and easy to understand manner fourth this is a very effective way to learn especially when you are studying a subject for the first time before exam like one day before two day before and if you have never studied it before so once you study in a group then you can go in and revise it on your own so it's a very effective way to learn grasp something very quickly in a very limited time so you can definitely uh, adopt it if you like it it is also recommended for those students who have difficulty in doing self-learning students who can do self-learning from books from youtube from notes they can do self-learning it's okay if they don't do group study for students who have difficulty in self-learning group study is preferred for those students uh, in general next is uh, the main issue that happens that syllabus is very lengthy there are five units six units so very difficult for you to recall everything so this hack is for that like how to increase efficiency for you to memorize and recall uh, everything very efficiently efficiently so you have to remember with the help of making acronyms so take a long topic uh, divided into small points four five five six key points uh, keep headings to each point like for example there are some properties of databases in dbms for example we call it acid properties so you divide it into four points of atomicity consistency isolation and durability you have given the heading of these four headings and you remember it with the acronyms of the first letter of each heading like a for atomicity c for consistency and so on so acid becomes the acronym or abbreviation so this is a very effective strategy which i really like and which i followed all the time in all my exams in college you should also definitely definitely follow it without any exception also the best benefit of it is like uh, you must have also seen the meme in the last minute of your exam you are there and you are asking your friend ki bas yaar heading heading bata de andar main likh lunga so i will write whatever it's inside so even if you mention these headline you will get some step marks so make sure you remember long answers in the form of these uh, easily memorizable 
acronyms and make sure you don't make some random words like a c x y z okay make it like something rememberable like kaka k k uh, papa p a p a hai na aba daba a b c d i think something which is easily recall able okay next we move on to our third hack this is most widely commonly known the 80 to 20 rule uh, you all must be aware like whole syllabus doesn't come directly uh, there is some topics which come disproportionately in exam like for example certain topics are very important they are more scoring in exam they are asked more in the exam which are asked every year so you have to study some topics and you will score more marks so you don't have to study whole syllabus you don't have to study whole syllabus you have to master only certain topics so you can say they can be either 20% 30% 40% 50% we can't give any specific number but there is a small number of topics which are asked most number okay so if you want to score like 80 numbers out of 100 so you can definitely study some 60% 40% uh, amount of topics and you can score that numbers so how to identify these topics you can either follow previous year paper you can look at the last 3 years 5 years paper and identify from them which are the most recurring questions second you can ask the teachers like what are the important topics you can just go there the cr can go the most important the most favorite student of teacher can go i know you i hope you can understand what it means or you can ask from the smartest student of the class the toppers like please mark us tell us uh, help us guide us so you can identify many ways uh, but you have to find out the important topics and study those so this 80 to 20 rule is very efficient don't study everything there are some student who are very hard working laborious they try to study everything but hota kya hai ki you have limited time and if you in order to learn everything you are not able to learn uh, something anything perfectly you learn thoda thoda everything and in exam you didn't retain you don't return anything and in exam you don't retain anything and you end up scoring very less so only study 20% 30% 40% 60% whichever uh, number you find is important okay that's the strategy here fourth hack is the subject specific strategy like every subject is different uh, i have seen many student like preparing the same way for every student like working hard 10 hours 20 hours 15 hours studying memorizing everything but this doesn't work like every subject is different for example some subjects are heavy in theory some are heavy in numerical uh, some uh, some also depend on which kind of faculty is setting the paper which faculty is going to uh, check the paper like will they give marks on step will they only give marks on answer okay these kind of factors you can also look at so you can create your strategy according to the exam which subject you are preparing for you can also look into when the date of your exam like it is the first exam it is the last exam this exam is on monday so i will have saturday sunday to prepare so uh, so i will not prepare for this exam i will give uh, more time to the other subject for example there is a subject called konam uh, computer oriented numerical method which is very scoring but it takes lot of time to solve all the numbers but and there is a subject called discrete structures it's a very difficult subject very less scoring marks so you can hardly score 50 to 60 marks in it no matter how much you study so what you can do you can spend less time on that and spend more time on quorum because quorum is scoring you can easily score up to 85 and 90 and even up to 95 marks in that so you can take time from preparation of discrete as spend in quorum also checking of quorum is also step wise so it will also help you so you can can look at these specific strategies for each subject i can't give you uh, any specific examples here but i've given you an idea how you can think the fifth and my personal favorite i have never done it school like i used to study only from the books and etc i only started doing in fifth sem uh, third year i know you must have been doing it you must be saying yaar ye to obviously cheez hai sab karte hai why are you telling it as a hack for personally b it was a big revelation i started making personal load from my fifth semester itself only and i scored like 76 to 77% it was a big number in my government college don't compare it with your private college number you always score like 86 88 is very normal for you but for us 80 81 is a very good score so i scored 76% which was a big number for me so make personal note make concise notes of at least only 3 to 4 pages per unit don't write everything like your unit must be at least 50 to 60 pages in your book in your notes or some additional reading so make only 3 to 4 pages what you have to write in your notes the formulas the tables the diagram flow charts as the acronym that we have talked about okay make sure you only write accurate things don't make some errors let's say you uh, memorize something from your notes and you return it in exam and you are thinking why i didn't get marks because you wrote something in your note which was itself wrong so aapko yaad hi galat cheez thi theek hai so make sure it's accurate and there are no 
errors and revise again and again again and again from these notes so what happens when you study a unit you make notes and when you have to revise you don't go back to the original book or notes you go back to the notes that you have created of three four pages it is very efficient and it saves a lot of time and increases your memory a lot and revise again and again at least two three times ki raat ko sore se pehle karunga aur subah uthte ek bar kar lunga exam se pehle karunga last 10 minute tak exam se pehle karte rahe outside the room of exam in the examination hall wherever you get time you must keep on revising again and again it's a very effective uh, strategy to ensure whatever you have studied you are able to retain it while going into the exam hall so these were the five pointers that i would like to share i don't know will they help you but they have definitely helped me and all the students i have talked to so far for this video apart from this they have given me some three four points for that would i would like to share with you one point that came up regularly was the presentation of your answer in your exam so make sure you write it a proper handwriting with diagrams with flow charts with proper headlines so you can do underlines spaces identification proper uh, handwriting so i have already told you neat and clean everything that will definitely improve your marks especially students from aktu they can understand the pain of good writing and long answers etc okay so you can definitely follow this pointer as well if you haven't been following so far uh, for revision you can definitely follow short videos on youtube which teach you in a very basic language uh, there is a youtube channel called last moment tuitions i know you are aware of it apart from this you can also search by topic there are lots of youtube channels videos that you can follow don't rely upon long lectures like 1 hour 2 hours long lectures it will only going to waste your time just rely upon these short videos and it will save your time a lot uh what mistake we do for numericals we don't practice we just look at the formulas we look at some examples solved in the book and we do go directly into the exam and when we try to solve apply that formula it doesn't work in exam and we get some mistakes our answers comes like random like let's see example uh, right answer is 1.5 our exam answer is coming 125 right answer is 320 our answer is coming 2 ओके सो मेक श्योर यू डू सम हैंड प्रैक्टिस लाइक हाथ से नोटबुक पे कुछ प्रैक्टिस जरूर कर रहा सिर्फ माइंड में सम एग्जांपल्स मत करके जा रहा मैं तो बहुत करता था ऐसा एंड आई यूज टू फेस अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज ऑफ इट सो मेक श्योर यू डू सम हैंड प्रैक्टिस ऑफ सम न्यूमेरिकल्स लास्ट बट नॉट द लीज डू प्रे टू गॉड टू हैवर गॉड यू बिलीव कृष्णा भगवान कृष्णा जी राम गणेश गणेश जी की आप यहाँ भी पूजा कर सकते हैं सो मेक श्योर यू प्रे टू गॉड इट रियली हेल्प पाँच परसेंट दस परसेंट पाँच मार्क दस मार्क डेफिनेटली बढ़ेगा यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट ओम सत्या एक्सेट्रा इन योर शीट इट विल डेफिनेटली इंप्रूव योर मार्क्स फॉर श्योर सो आई होप आई गिवन यू वेरी हेल्पफुल टिप्स इन दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर वेरी स्पेसिफिक क्वेरी रिगार्डिंग एनी टिप्स यू कैन आस्क इन द कमेंट सेक्शन और इसके अलावा बना ही कमेंट सेक्शन इसके लिए है और यू कैन ऑल्सो कॉन्टेक्ट भी ऑन व्हाट्सएप इफ यू हैव वेरी अदर हैक एनी आइडिया दैट यू हैव अपलाइड इन योर लाइफ यू वुड लाइक टू शेयर विद द अदर स्टूडेंट फ्लीट एड एस हेयर आई विल पिन दैट कॉमेंट द बेस्ट कॉमेंट सो प्लीज मेक श्योर यू कॉमेंट एट हेल्प आर कम्युनिटी टू अचीव एट सक्सीड टूगेदर एंड ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर एग्जाम